video is going to be covering the time from November 1st to November 16th, which is a while, uh, because I was just busy, like, didn't have time to make this, and I have more finals, so I shouldn't be doing this now either, but if I don't do it now, it won't get done till December, that's a whole month without doing an update video, so I'm doing it now. And here I go. Sunday, November 1st, I slept in and watched Cedarville Chapels, um, cleaned my room, filmed my other video, studied, went to church and helped with Go Kids, and I decided that I needed to have more intentional spiritual conversations with my friends and like just people in general. So I made a point to do that um, that Sunday. And also, I realized the situation that someone was going through that I should pray for. So then I told them that I was praying for them and then our, the whole dynamic of our relationship changed. So that's just beautiful to me how like an attitude of prayer can like change the whole dynamic of a relationship and yeah. Monday the second, um, in grammar we talked about how like sexism affects the grammar of a culture and how a culture forms grammar. It's just really interesting to me. That day I also pondered the concept of worship being a lifestyle, not like go to church and worship, which is only the time of singing. No, it's like in everyday actions in like your life. Um, then I went to Pon Pon and journaled and reflected on that some more. Tuesday the 3rd, cranked out my grammar essay about the Grand Canyon, so that was fun to do. I FaceTimed mom real quick and rearranged my <laughs> Christmas New Year's schedule again. I might be in Madrid for New Year's now, so I can do um, the grapes thing in Puerto del Sol. Ah! Wednesday the 4th, I was super happy because I printed my boarding passes for Rome and my tickets for the Vatican and Colosseum and ah, I was just ah. So um, then I edited my resume, got coffee with Dessa and we talked, that was real good. Um, and I need to be more intentional about having relationships with females. Because guys is just more natural, <laughs> but I need to be intentional about having relationships. Um, I revised my grammar essay that I wrote the day before and realized that my, like, I was like, wow, I actually wrote this? I didn't even realize I knew that. Like, wow. Like, just seeing my growth was, it was nice. Thursday the 5th, I went to GBU, and then after GBU, well, I had class, and I went to GBU, and after that, um, I went, got coffee with the girls from GBU, so that was good, because I got to know them a little better. Um... And then that night, I went to the movies and with Dessa, Alyssa, Aaron, and Eric because it was National Week of Cinema. So it was like half price movies. So we went and saw El Becario, the intern. And Friday the 6th, I had a coffee date with the pastor's wife of the Anglican Church. So that was good because we got to you know, share a little with her and just get to know each other more. I also had a coffee date right after that with um, a potential student's mother. So yeah, I was hyped on caffeine after that, so then came home and cranked out an essay for Wiseman and studied. Then I went to Noche de Chicas, seen Valiant, and that was really good. Saturday the 7th, I studied history, packed for Rome, and our flight left at like 8, but we left for the airport at like 4.30 just to make sure we would have time. Um, and I'm not going to tell everything about Rome in this video because I made a Rome video, which isn't ready yet, but when it is, I'll put it there. And I was in Rome the 8th, 9th. We got home late Monday night, so Tuesday the 10th. I showered for the first time like four days because I didn't shower while we were in Rome because I'm like, I can't take that much stuff and nah, screw it. So I didn't shower and I showered when I got home. Much needed. 
and I uh, went to school and I was exhausted because, well, traveling and walking so much and yeah, efficiently read. I was reading words wrong and like, I was just like, couldn't read and couldn't pay attention or keep my eyes open. And Dessa thankfully bought um, some ice cream and brought it to class at night and we just kind of indulged in that. So that was delicious. And I also watched some documentaries about Rome to inform myself more about what I had just seen and the history of it. On Sunday the 11th, I was still exhausted, so I took a siesta and also went to bed early. <laughs> um, Thursday the 12th, I had class, I did homework, and got a lot of stuff done before GBU. Um, GBU was good. Then we bought a cake and ate it during history because it was the last day of classes. We were hyper for um, lit survey because we had just eaten like a whole cake and we were like, this is our last class ever, yeah. And I came home and like studied immediately as I got home, put myself down and started studying like two solid hours straight and almost forgot to eat dinner until Lucy was like, it's 11, you need to eat dinner. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> whoops, I was in the mood. Um, so Friday the 13th, I slept in, went for a run, studied, met with my year combio, um, taught English classes, um, ate dinner, studied more. Saturday the 14th, um, edited some Rome pictures. I had over 800, so I need to choose and delete and edit. Oh, shouldn't have been studying, by the way. Um, so then after that, I did study and went to a life group. Um, that was good. We talked about promises, you know, promises of hope that, like, God has given specifically to you. Like, for me, the, one, the first one that came to mind was, like, God's promise that he'll always provide for me, whatever his plans are for my life. Um, he'll make it happen financially because going back to uh, 2014, it youth ablaze, and I was, like, a mess in tears about how I was going to pay for college if I was supposed to go to Cedarville and like I mean obviously it's working out now but yeah so I remember that promise anyways uh came home and studied a studied and edited more pictures Sunday the 15th um I looked at my Cedarville account and there's there was there's a charge I'm going to have to pay for, like, I don't know, some course fees thing. But, like, I don't have the money for it in my student account, nor my bank account. And thankfully it's not due immediately. But, just, I don't know, just amazing how, like, we had just talked about that promise of provision the night before at Life Group. And then, like, I had to apply that to my life the next day and, like, remember that if... Like, God's going to make it happen. It'll be okay. And so God's timing is just, like, amazing. Anyways, Anglican Church in the morning. Um, and there was the um, Valencia Marathon that I passed. Two streets that it was happening on on my way to church. I actually talked to new people. Like, I saw someone standing alone. And so I just went over and talked to them. Because I don't know what that feels like. I was like, wow, I just did that, like, usually I'd be super hesitant and be like, aw, oh, poor person, but I wouldn't actually go, like, talk to them. But it's like, no, you can do it, Rachel. Your Spanish is good enough. You can carry on the conversation, and you cannot be awkward. <laughs> so I went and did it. Making improvements. Then I studied, except not really, because I was super distracted. And then I went to Valley at night and helped with Go Kids, learning about the promises of God, so like Noah with the rainbow and like a bunch of other things, but um, this week they were like, okay, think about something that you prayed, like th that you asked God for and he like gave it to you, like he or something, and I was thinking about that um, in my life and I'm like, huh, and I realized that like a year ago I had been praying like for a church here and friends and is really worried that like sliding comfortably to either of those but 
I was like, wow, I didn't even realize this prayer was answered and like answered so abundantly. Is that what I want to say? Yeah. So, ah, that's just amazing. Um, yeah, that night I was just listening to um, You Never Change by Austin Stone Worship. I'm in love, by the way. Um, yeah. Mm. And then I studied grammar because it was grammar exam the next day, not ready. Anyways, Monday the 16th, had the grammar exam. Um, and then right as soon as that was done, I started studying history, which was that night. And then I studied some lit because I felt secure about history. Um, so then I went home and ate, studied more, looked up some recipes because I don't even know why. <laughs> I went to Pond Pond and studied and took my history exam and went home and studied lit. And I made songs to help me remember the things because there was so much that I needed to know and I was just feeling so overwhelmed and like straight memorizing them. So I was like, right, songs it is. <laughs> so I taught them to Dessa and Alyssa this morning and we took that exam and it was good. So lately I've had like the mindset like I'm leaving because everyone else is leaving so they're thinking about that and it's also it's it's good and it's helping me because they're talking about like what they regret that they didn't do while they were here and like that type of thing and like who they didn't form relationships with that they wish they would have um and so for me I still have six months to do so that I won't regret that when I leave because I already did something about it so and I'm going to London Saturday and I have one more final and yeah okay so now I'm gonna read and this time it's from my little new testament okay Luke 22 37 porque os digo que es necesario que se cumpla, cumpla todavía en mi aquello que está escrito y fue contado con los in, in Cuyos, porque lo que está escrito de mí tiene cumplimiento. Entonces ellos dijeron, Señor, aquí hay dos espadas. Y él les dijo, basta. Y saliendo, se fue como solía y al monte los, de los olivos. Y si disipó thanks for watching and I don't know obviously things are going well I was a little stressed out because of exams last week but avenged it and just learning not to worry bye